everybody. Just going to wait a minute for a few people to hop on. <coughs> Just comment when you get on so I'll know Sonny's there. We'll wait just a few minutes. A couple, maybe a minute or so. <clears throat> Hello, I see somebody's on. Hey, Shaney. How are you? Yay. You caught me live. <clears throat> hey, Paige. Let's see who else we got coming on. Hey, Deidre. Yay, we're all here. So, um, we got a real quick DIY, kind of like an Easter craft, I guess you could say, for you. <coughs> um, hey, Linda. Hey, Paige. Hey, Deidre. Hey, Shaney. Um, Y'all do this with your friends. I would appreciate it, okay? That way people can find me. So, <coughs> they might want to see what I'm doing tonight. So, um, I have just a real quick... It's not going to take a while, a long time. Hey, Carol. Um, so we are going to use these wood shims. In case you don't know what they are, they are um, like little wood. They look like this. It's like big at this end, and then it gets really skinny down here. And like people use them to put in between wood projects and... <clears throat> that type of thing i guess to make it level I, i'm really not sure what they're used for but you can find them uh hey kimberly um you can find them in the crafts i mean uh excuse me the hardware section lowe's i got these <coughs> excuse me at a local um hardware store here in my hometown and no that's backwards but they're s-h-i-m-s -S is how you spell it and they i think this pack was 12 and they were like two, I don't know, 250 and you get 12 of them. So we're gonna be able to make three of the items that we're gonna make with these tonight. So can anybody guess what we are gonna make with them? It's related to Easter. Hey Kelly, hey Colin. <clears throat> can anybody guess what we're gonna make? See if somebody uh, says something while we're getting ready to get started. <clears throat> so I got, hey Wendy. Hey, Jana. Okay, so um, what we're going to make tonight is we are going to make carrots. And everybody all over Facebook world, YouTube, everywhere, Pinterest is doing all kinds of different crafts making carrots. So I saw these little wood shims and I said, you know, I'm going to make a carrot out of those. So <clears throat> you see it gets tall and it gets skinny. So you can like lay them in your dough bowls or decorative decor for Easter. Um, so that's what we're going to do with them. So <clears throat> I already kind of made one for a trial run. Of course, I haven't painted it yet. Um, so we are, I'll end up painting it in a little bit. So I'm going to show you how we're going to do this. So when you look at the shim, it's got a flat side and then the top side, of course, goes down this way. So what you do is you're going to take four of these and you're going to take the flat side and you're going to you got to find the flat side but then you're just going to put two together like this <clears throat> and then you take your other two and do the same thing and you have these two okay so we're going to join all four of these together and i know you're wondering how in the world is she going to do that so what's what i'm going to show you to do so what we're going to do first is we got to make a little place for the greenery to go in down here okay so at first i tried it and i wedged the little greenery in there and i tried to you know clamp it tight while it glued and that kind of stuff hey tanya hey diana <clears throat> and so and it kind of left a little gap right here when i did it first so my husband god love him he said well why don't you just notch out that wood right there and you can make a little hole for the greenery to go in so I said, okay, so I'll try it. So I did it and it worked. So see, there's not much of a gap there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, take my two, two together and I'm going to lay them over like this. But I'm just going to take one of the inside piece. So you've got four <clears throat> like this. So and I'm going to take this piece 
and I'm going to notch it out and I'm going to show you how to do it, okay? So I got my exacto, whoops, I got my exacto knife, okay? So I'm going to take that and there's my piece of wood that's going to go on the inside. So I'm going to just make like a V, like I'll show you. I'm going <clears> to <throat> cut it and then I'm going to show it to you. So yeah, I had to do a trial run on this first because I wanted to make sure it was going to look good, which most of the time I do trial run first because I don't want to get on here and have an epic fail. <laughs> but I guess it would be okay if I did. It's not going to kill me. So um, so what y'all got going on tonight? You know, had a good week or um, what's been going on? I've had a busy week myself at work. It's just been crazy. And it was trying to snow a little bit this morning. I had a little snow flurry, so I was told. So I'm just going to cut this little notch of wood out, and it's wanting to be a... You know, you got to be careful. You don't want to cut yourself, because this is sharp. <laughs> Believe it or not, it is. It's like a little mini razor blade. So I'm just kind of cutting at an angle like this, okay? <clears throat> hey, Teresa. Hey, Tyler. Hey, Johnny. Got some men watching us. So I'm just kind of notching it out. Okay, so I've notched out these little bitty pieces of wood out of this, okay? So it doesn't look really pretty, but maybe you can see without the, the light being there. I don't know if you can, can you see that? So I'm gonna, it's like two, I just made two little grooves in like a, I took a, I took my knife and I cut a V and it made like a little channel that my little, the greenery is gonna go down in like this, okay? Hey Kelly. Hey Candace. How are you? <clears throat> so, so I just took my exacto knife and I cut a little channel out. Two little channels. I don't know if you see that. My light's kind of bright. But it's like a little channel here and then one here. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is got my wood glue here. I'm <clears throat> going to need some of that. But I also have my hot glue gun and I'm going to use that to kind of hold it while the other is drying. Hey Lisa. Girl, I tore up them, them uh, Girl Scout cookies you, you brought me earlier. Those are so good, I just can't help myself. <clears throat> so I'm just pouring out, ooh, way too much wood glue. So I'm just putting some wood glue on my plate because my nozzle of my wood glue is all stopped up and it won't come out anymore. So I got my wood glue here on my plate and just got a little paintbrush. And um, so this is my inside piece with the little, the little grooves. This is my other side. And then this is this side, okay? So that's how we're going to do it. <clears throat> so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the first piece and I'm just going to put some glue on it, of course. I'm just going to kind of smear a little on there. This I don't know if this would hold good if I just used um, uh, hot glue. I was kind of worried that it wouldn't, so I just did it with uh, wood glue too. But the wood glue will dry overnight, and then the hot glue is going to make it stay right now, okay? Hey, Lisa. So, I'm going to um, just put a little hot glue on here. That's just so it'll stick right now, okay? <clears throat> and then I'm going to take it, and I'm going to adhere it to the next one, okay? Just like that. And the wood glue, I mean, the hot glue is going to hold it for the moment. And then until the wood glue dries overnight, okay? Hey, Colin, you're the bomb.com too, son. <laughs> Thank you. So, got that glued together. There's my little channels right there, okay? So, I'm going to take, um, <clears throat> before I glue the next one together, I'm going to actually glue. So, there's that piece that's glued together. These are the other two that aren't. So, I'm going to attach these two together, okay? So, I'm going to do the same thing I did with the first one. I'm going to just... Put some wood glue on here. Because like I said, I, I, the hot glue, I don't know if it would hold it permanently. But I didn't want to take that chance and mess up my project. So I'm just doing a little of both. It's not going to hurt anything. Okay. So I got my wood glue all on that side. Then I'm just going to kind of do a little hot glue out here. And then I'm going to take my other side. And then I'm just going to kind of mash them together and hold them together tight for just a minute. Hey, Lori. Hey, Rachel. It's good to see y'all on. Oh, some of my friends from back home. 
<clears throat> so got that together. Now we have this together, okay? So there's my little channels that I've cut out with my X-Acto knife, okay? So there that is. So I'm just going to lay these to the side for the moment. So now I've got this little branch of greenery. Um, it is from Walmart. It was like 97 cents and I, it's kind of sparse. I've been pulling off different things for different projects. So that's what I use for this one. Okay, so um, I'm just going to take some scissors and just kind of snip off a couple of them. And you could do two or three if you wanted to. I just did two on mine. I thought it was sufficient for me. Um, you could do however you want to do it. Put your own spin on it. <clears throat> so, let me see if those look the same size. Yeah, okay. So, see they have this little, little end on it. So, I'm just going to kind of take my scissors and trim that down just a little bit because it's kind of like a... A little, the little round part that sticks down onto the wire. So I'm just going to kind of trim it a little bit so we don't have such of a bulk of plastic. So I'm just trimming it down. Hey Rachel, how's popcorn doing? <clears throat> I miss y'all too. I miss seeing y'all at the clinic. I miss everybody at Enterprise. Alright, so there's my little pieces I cut, okay? So then, <clears throat> I got my two pieces that we've already glued together. So the one that's got the little channels in it, and I hope y'all can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm just going to lay it down, and my little channels are, are right here, okay? And those are, they're just big enough for me to lay my little um, greenery stems down in that channel, okay? <clears throat> well, let's see. First of all, I'm going to get my finger protector so I won't burn my fingers. Because it's not fun if you burn your fingers with a hot glue gun. It's a, it's a hazard. So I got my, these little silicone fingers keep me from burning myself. So <clears throat> I'm just going to take my hot glue gun and I'm going to just kind of put a little hot glue down in that little channel that I made with my little knife. And then I'm going to put those little greenery stems down in there like that. And I'm just going to hold it for a second. That's where these little things come in uh, handy. <clears throat> oh, Rachel, she's I know she's grown. I see her. I can't believe she'll be nine years old. Cannot believe it. Hey, Brittany. How are you? Glad you could catch me live tonight. Hey, Bill. Okay. So, got that down. So, see, now I've got my greenery. You can probably see it a little better now that, that the... Uh, Greenery's in there. See, it's it's in the little channel, so you can't really see. It's kind of flush with the wood. <clears throat> so there that is. Okay? So I'm going to take these off. Can't, I can't function in them. Um, so I'm just going to kind of pull, just kind of get rid of a little of that hot glue there. Okay, so now I've got this piece, and I've got this piece. Okay? So we're going to we're going to marry those two together. Okay? So same thing. I'm going to take my paintbrush. And I'm going to just kind of paint on some glue. I don't get to use wood glue that much. Hot glue, that's my, that's my jam, It's hot glue. I can hot glue anything. Okay, so I got that piece. <clears throat> Put this down, put my hot glue on there, just like I did the other ones. All right, now. So I'm just holding it for a minute, let it that glue set up. But like I said, that um, <clears throat> the wood glue will dry overnight, but the hot glue is instant. But I just didn't wasn't sure if it would hold it permanently, so I did both. Hey Paula, I miss you, Paula. <clears throat> All right. So so there it is. There's my carrot. Pretty cool, huh? So now we're going to paint it. Um, so in case you just jumped on, I've got wood shims. I know that's backwards for y'all. It's wood shims at the hardware store at Lowe's. Uh, we, um, I took four, there's 12 in a pack, so I'm making three carrots. I'm using four a piece, just joining four of them together like this. I took the middle one and I'll cut out little grooves right here with my X-Acto knife. 
and then I put greenery down in the middle and then I glued, glued them together and then we have that so they're, they're down in there like that so now I have two <clears throat> okay so now we're gonna paint them which is the fun part I like to paint so I'm just gonna get me a little orange paint out here and we're gonna make carrots and you could leave them the wood color if you wanted to. You could paint them white. You could distress them. You could do, you know, paint them whatever color you like. Some people like the neutral tones. If you want to paint them white and distress them or leave them natural, that would be cute too. Um, so I'm just going to paint a little orange on here. I got my door shut in here and the heat is kicking. The temperature here has dropped all day and it was flurrying earlier and... I don't know, this weather is we're crazy that we're having. It's been raining for like a solid month and snow glories one day, 60 degrees the next day. Oh, that orange looks really bright on that camera. Thanks, Kimberly. Hey, Michelle. <clears throat> Alrighty, so I'm just kind of painting this orange. That orange just looks weird on the camera. Does it look really bright to y'all it's, it's just like a pumpkin orange but on the camera it looks on the phone it looks really really like a school bus color or something <clears throat> hey kenny y'all are being quiet tonight <laughs> not saying much so we'll be through in just a second and this dries pretty fast just get it all painted up. I think I'm gonna try to, I might try to um, distress it a little bit. I don't like the um, the look of the, just so bright of the carrot. So I'm probably gonna stress it a little bit. So I'm getting my little fan going over here. I'm gonna let it dry. See what y'all are saying. Thanks, Carol, thank you. Candace, it's raining. It's been raining here for a month. I know it's been raining there for a month too. It's crazy. And then it was flurrying this morning. I, you know, I don't know. So I saw something the other day. It said Mother Nature's. Somebody's got her on shuffle. She's shuffling everywhere. It just random, whatever she wants to do. Snow, rain, sun. It's just we're getting it all. But I'd rather have that than ice or anything like that. Let's see. See some spots that I missed. So. I'm gonna let that end dry and then I'm gonna paint the top half. Lisa, you like orange? I like the orange too, just for a little pop of color. Thanks, Bill. Bill said it looks cool. Thank you. I just trying to think of something different. I'm, everybody else is doing carrots with styrofoam and you know, or you could be like Carol and make them with the big, <laughs> the big wood beads. <laughs> but it was cute, Carol. It's cute. It was a conversation piece. Um, but, um, so I just saw these and I was like, you know what? That would make a good carrot. And of course, Deidre, I know you're watching and she's like, I like the carrots that are round at the top. Well, mine are square. <laughs> it's okay. So I'm just going to kind of move this greenery around a little bit and I'm just going to kind of paint on, paint a little at the top. Like I said, I'm going to distress it anyway. So I'm not really trying to get so perfect. Looking great. Need to make some of these to put in my dough bowl. Exactly, Kelly. That's I'm gonna probably put these on my tiered tray. I got me a new tiered tray today at Home Goods, and it is so cute. I had originally made one, and it's okay, but I really like this one, and it just called my name when I saw it, so I had to have it. But anywho, all right. So there's my carrot. Isn't it cute? It's really cute. So it started out like this. Well, actually, it started out like this. And then we married four of them together, in case you're just now jumping on. And then we put the greenery in the middle. And it looked like this. And now it's all orange. So I'm just letting it dry a second. Carol, what's the weather down like that down there in Florida? Is it like 80 degrees and sunny or something? Because it's always like that down there, is what you what you say. Thank you, Kimberly. Thank you. Thank you, Shaney. So, Shaney, I guess Mardi Gras is all over. Hey, Nikki. Hey, Tammy. How are y'all doing? While this is drying, you know, if you want to send it to, send this video to your friends so they can see it. 
you can um, show me some love and pass me on so other people can find me, okay? I'd really appreciate it. I love sharing my ideas with people and getting to know people. Oh, Carol, it's raining down there today? Well, we've had that, I promise you, for a solid month. There was a tornado up here in January, which is, that's crazy to have tornadoes in January. And it's been raining ever since. So it's, oh, chilly is 65. Oh, whatever. I would love to have 65. It's supposed to be like 60-something this weekend. And I'm like, yes! 60-something and the sun's gonna come out. Oh, 65 and sunny, Bill. Okay, just rub it on in. I hear ya. Hey, Nikki. How's Gandy doing? I miss that girl. <clears throat> okay. So, it's pretty dry now. So, I think I'm gonna kinda do a little distressing. And I think I did this with something else that we did. Oh, I did this technique kinda with the, um, the big popsicle sticks and I made the frame and all that. I'm kind of going to do the same technique with that. I'm going to take my brush and I'm just going to dip it in some water. and get over here where y'all can see it. Dip it in some water. Just kind of get my brush wet. Okay. And then I'm just going to dab it in my brown paint a little bit and kind of drag some paint out into my little water puddle I got going on over here. But I'm going to get me a... Actually, I'm going to get a baby wipe first. Ugh. Because I'm going to wipe some of it off. i got orange paint all over me. Okay. So, just got, got a little muddy water going on right here, okay? So, oh, I'll just get back on the chair. Hey, Candy, how are you? Oh, she's great. Going to be 15 in June. Oh, my goodness gracious. I can't believe it. I miss that girl. She's so sweet. Okay. So, I'm just going to kind of, just kind of brush it on. You know, and this it's water. So, it's. It's not really covering it good, but it's just kind of getting enough of that stained look to it because I don't want it to be so bright. And I may not even have to wipe any off. But So I'm just kind of taking that muddy water that I made with my paint. Need some more water. And just kind of getting, you know, getting my brush real wet and with paint and water. And so I'm just kind of brushing it off. Can y'all see? Like that. And it kind of just um, dulls that bright of the orange. Because carrots come out of the dirt, right? <laughs> so they're supposed to be kind of dingy looking. And if you wanted to come in here and make some little brown lines to make like the ridges in the carrot, you could do that too. Um, and I may end up going back and doing that. We'll see. But y'all don't have to sit here and watch me do all that and dress up my carrot all night. But I just wanted to jump on and show y'all something really, um, really easy and quick and it's inexpensive. Like I said, the greenery came from Walmart. It was 97 cents for the whole bunch. Um, then the, uh, the shims were 12 to a pack and I think they were like 250. And I looked all over, uh, Walmart for them and I thought Walmart had them and they don't. But, um, Lowe's has them. Any hardware store is going to have them. Um, hey Newman, how are you? I saw where you just texted and I was like, oh, I'm fixing to go live. I'll have to answer him when I get off. Okay, so I got this kind of all distressed brown looking. I did, Actually, I didn't even need the white to wipe it off. But you can just kind of do what you want to do with it, okay? Get it as dark as or heavy as you want to put it on. Okay, but see now it looks kind of uh, dingy, kind of distressed looking. That light is making it look like neon orange. Thanks, Wendy. Hey, Stephanie, how are you? I miss y'all, too. I'll tell Craig, hey, he's playing cornhole tonight at a tournament thing. He does that on Wednesday nights. You see how it looks? Okay. So, that's pretty much what I got tonight. Um, you could take some raffia if you wanted. Um, some jute. Hands are got paint all over them. Um, tie it around the top of the carrot. Um... Oh, Newman, you're headed to the gym? Oh, you're, you no, oh, you kill me. I wish I could just be heading to the gym. I guess I could if I wanted to, but this is way more fun. <laughs> so I'm taking this raffia, I think. I'm just going to kind of probably tie it around the top of the carrot. This stuff right here is like a nightmare. But anyway, they sell this at Dollar Tree. 
Um, it's not, you know, it's a dollar, and you get a bunch of it, but, um, anyway, so you could tie it around, I'm probably not going to use near that much, you could tie some around the top, um, just to give it a little something extra, you could tie some jute around the top, I mean, you don't have to do any of that if you don't want to, it looks cute as is, this stuff is, this stuff is everywhere, okay. So see, I'm just kind of wild and crazy carrot here. Can y'all see it? So it just kind of gives it a little something, something. Um, or you could do jute around the top, whichever you choose to do. So that's how we did our carrot, okay? So go grab you some shims from the hardware store, from Lowe's, Home Depot, or wherever. Get you some paint, glue them together. You can try doing it with just hot glue. It might stay. I just did the glue and the the hot glue and the uh, the wood glue because I was scared it wouldn't hold. And then some greenery from Walmart. Got you some cute carrots to lay in a dough bowl or display for Easter, okay? All right. Well, thank y'all for jumping on. I'd appreciate it if you would send this to your friends. And um, I'd appreciate it. And send me some love, okay? All righty. Thank y'all for watching, and I appreciate it, and I'll be back on soon with some more DIYs, so I'll catch y'all later. Have a good night.